The tea plantation in Doi Me Salong is one of famous for the tourists to visit that area. So the second day we went straight to Doi Me Salong where we got to the tea plantation. It's a huge place with awesome view on the way there, like curve, curves, curves on the road. I have never seen my whole life a tea plantation and on that day I didn't even realize that the whole green thing is already tea and that was very interesting for me. But then when we got to the tea plantation, we got to meet the owner who showed us how to pick the tea leaves and what kinds of different teas they have. And they have three kinds of teas there, growing all over the hills and it was really nice. She owns about 350 rye and come on, she's super nice to give us a private tour. I'm a very different kind of person. When I go uh, on a trip, I don't like to do an ordinary kind of itinerary. I always go for the behind the scene kind of stuff. So she was super nice again to give us a really uh, good opportunity to have a hands on on how they make those um, teas. So we went to their factory. So me and Simon was just having so much fun, like putting all of those dried teas inside a big bag. And we ha each bag has to be 10 kilograms. And I tell you what, it looks easy, but it is really a hard work. We even got to see how they make the tea. They don't do like I do in Sweden, just put a tea bag in the, in the hot water in the microwave for one and a half minute. But they actually pour like hot water in a can and on the tea leaves and then some special thing with drop down and tiny tea cups where we got to try it. The process of making it you got to enjoy watching in front of you. And after this we keep going up Doi Ma Salon to this Chinese village with like hill tribe people and people are speaking Chinese there. It's almost like being back in Taiwan. And it was really nice to see and they were selling like these Chinese things and nuts. We bought a lot of almonds and some other nuts. And we even got some wine because it's Kirby's birthday again. It was so we got some free wine from some amazing ladies there. <laughs> The final stop of our second day is at Doi Tung and I've heard this place many times and I've saw a lot of pictures. Doi Tung is another famous highlight for the tourist attraction in Chiang Rai. For the names coming from the a temple of Doi Tung, Doi is mean mountain, Tung is the name of the, the banner, the temple. And then the king's mother, she picked at that area, the mountain area for helping the hill tribe people. And we got to visit the king's mother's house, which was really nice to see. It's like a tree house on top of the mountains, a really awesome place. And after that, we went to the royal garden at this place. You can walk between those two. And the royal garden is a huge place with so many different flowers. I never seen anything like it in my whole life. And with, with this big statue with like, small kids uh, holding each other up and building a massive thing. I would really love to spend more time to that place. Have a good day read with a fresh air, good coffee and very beautiful and vibrant flowers surrounding you. You know, what else could be better than that? And on the third day, it started off really good. I went on a Mahud experience, which was really exotic. We will definitely go around more destination in Thailand and understand more about, about how amazing these people, how amazing this country is.